Here's some of the media reaction to Red Shell. So this is PC Gaming Magazine. They're saying, Other developers and publishers are standing by it, saying the app is useful and harmless, which a lot of companies will say, right? The article is dated June 19, 2018, so this is in line with the backlash on Steam. So it actually is more incriminating for some of the developers. I mean, my understanding is that 2K only updated their terms later that year. So it violates some laws, if that's true. I mean, maybe I'm just wrong about that. So... A piece of software called Red Shell that's used by game developers for marketing analysis has caused an uproar among gamers who are concerned by its ability to generate detailed fingerprints of users. Well, actually, it's worse than that because, as we were saying earlier, it involves very specific personal information about people that's taken without their consent, actually. So it's much worse than profiling people based on, you know, analyzing a few data points. It's basically harvesting everything it can get its hands on. So they're explaining the market analytics aspect of it, but this is, you know, not relevant to a user, of course. It says, The site states that Redshell does not collect personal information about users such as names, addresses, or emails. Except the problem is that the End user license agreement and the privacy policy of Take Two do allow this. So, why else would they put Red Shell in the game? And it says the data it collects is not used for targeted ads. Red Shell tracks information about devices. We collect information including operating system, browser, browser version number, IP address. Screen resolution, in-game user ID. Well, there you go, in-game user ID. It does collect personal information. So they're contradicting themselves in the same statement. And they have a Reddit thread. Red Shell is a spyware that tracks data of your PC and shares it with third parties. On the website, they formulate it all in very harmless language, but the fact is that this software is from someone I don't trust and whom I never invited, which is looking at my data and running on my PC against my will. This should have no place in a full-price PC game, and in no games if it were up to me. I make this thread to raise awareness of these user-unfriendly marketing practices and data mining software that are common on the mobile market and which are flooding over to our PC games market. As a person and a gamer, I refuse to be data mined. My data is my own. You have no business making money out of it. Actually, there is a, a certain argument here with respect not only to intellectual property, but also use of one's likeness and identity without consent. So there are many arguments against Red Shell and against data mining of gamers generally. So there were some other games affected, as they're pointing out, Elder Scrolls Online, Conan Exiles, but they generally only removed it when users found out. And as they point out, this is covered under GDPR in the European Union, the General Data Protection Regulation, which I did not encounter this myself, but if the allegations are true, which it seems like there's quite a lot of evidence for, multiple articles over multiple online platforms, it would violate GDPR because it was opt-out and not opt-in. In addition to the fact that Red Shell was installed by default rather than by the choice of the users, and because Red Shell was introduced after the games were, you could argue that the terms of service for Red Shell are invalid because they're separate from those of the original games. It would simply depend on when the games were purchased and installed. Although I'm not a lawyer, you could argue this violates the Federal Trade Commission Act in the U.S., this so person also says, I am not a lawyer, so I can't really say anything about legal options. However, if we take an unofficial look at the law here, 
U.S. law is usually written to restrict surveillance by the government rather than by corporations. And you could argue that the laws in the U.S. are a little bit behind the curve in this area. Basically, the Fourth Amendment was to control the government, and that was actually passed in 1791. So the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution is a very, very old law, and it is really not entirely relevant to this case. Basically, if you look at the other laws on the list there, there are elaborations on the Fourth Amendment for modern times. So there are also regulations on the government where the Fourth Amendment concerned search warrants, they concerned wiretaps. And basically, this leaves only the Federal Trade Commission Act, which, like the Fourth Amendment, was passed before computers were in wide use. So the main reason it's relevant to the Red Shell scandal is that it bans deceptive business practices. So the fact that Red Shell was installed on the sly, sometimes on computers of people who had not consented to have their data collected, especially with respect to Civilization V, is a potential violation of this law. To reiterate, I'm not a lawyer, but this is an issue that's been brought up by a lot of critics of Red Shell and the whole Red Shell situation. We'll take a look at GDPR next.